What's up everybody, Ankit here. This is uh, week two of um, coming back from Tommy John surgery. Uh, so this week, uh, what uh, I got the cast off, as you can kind of see, I pretty much got the cast off now. Um, it was pretty cool taking it off. Uh, it was like a breath of fresh air. I was like, oh, I can move and I can move and do some things. And then we tried basic exercise to see where we're at. Um, and then immediately after that, I went straight to physical therapy to do these exercises and what they tell me how long I got to do them for. And so, uh, first off, let me show you kind of like, like the result of like when they open it up. So right now, today's, uh, today's Sunday when I'm recording this, but, uh, you can see they've, they've cut into here, 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 and here to take out the tendon and do a tendon graft. And they put it all into my elbow to create, to turn this tendon into a ligament and tie it around here. And they did drill holes into my bone to make sure everything is nice and tight. And that's part of the surgery. So as you can see, this is this now the scar. That scar is probably going to stick with me forever. So, you know, uh, that's, that's a huge part of it. And it's much more of a memory of like, you know, going through the surgery and coming you know working my way out of it and that's that's the biggest thing for me and so as you can see I can move around not I can't do much uh, I'm, I'm at home so since I'm home I actually take off I, uh, I don't put on the sling but when I go out in public I immediately put on the sling I keep it on there uh, you know I don't want to do too much to the elbow uh, really the reason why I have it at home is so I can just like really just stretch it out throughout the day trying to get the flexibility back um a couple of days ago, I, I can't like it, the what i can do right now is um i can basically move the elbow and then once i get it to straight i start to grimace and it starts to hurt a little bit at this point earlier throughout the week it was even worse uh it's just trying to lower inflammation and really trying to make sure to like get the inflammation down and really try to gain the flexibility. So they gave me a, num a numerous series of exercises. For example, um, while standing, you're supposed to just do this on your own, see how far you can go without, you know, overworking it. And then once you hold at that spot, hold it for a little bit and then come back and do like, do 10 of those, one set of 10. And then afterwards you ice it and uh, you're supposed to ice it three to five times a day. I've been trying to ice as much as I can. I can't keep that three to five times a day number. I'm, I'm trying the best I can, it's hard to. But uh, I've been taking the, um, I've been taking my meds, uh, anti-inflammation, and then I have to take the painkillers from that I took from sur er, surgery, because this is the really the part where I really need to take it, because the painkillers help me sleep at night, and um, it's, it's hard to be comfortable when, uh, when you're sleeping, you know, with a messed up elbow and you're, and this is my primary arm, you know, this is what I do for a lot of activities. I have a habit of like where I'm going straight out and I put my hand underneath the pillow and can't really do that. It gets uncomfortable very quick. And I like to have my arm straight, you know, uh, I like to have in a certain position. Can't really do that. So helping with the painkiller, uh, does make me sleepy which is a huge benefit of it um i do have an appointment this wednesday so i guess we might be seeing it every week with my physical train uh, uh physical tra therapist yeah sorry physical therapist to see where am i at with my elbow so uh so far as week uh, two goes along it's just more of like the basic exercises icing your elbow uh every day and what's crazy about like like doing this kind of exercise is that you can feel like the nerves, the tingling sensation all over your hand from what's happening at the elbow. Like you can feel it all up here and it feels fuzzy every once in a while. Uh, I will say this, I have screamed in pain a couple times because I moved my elbow too quick. I basically just let the gravity, let the arm go, let the gravity drop and it's actually extremely excruciating. I literally scream, so I'm uh, I'm not gonna do that. Don't do that. Just take it slow. Take it slow, cause uh, it's 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 painful if you move your elbow too quick. If you just drop the elbow too quick, 
you feel like everything your hand is burning you feel like your hand is burning but it's not coming from your hand it's coming from your elbow there's still there there's a lot of inflammation in fact there was so much inflammation uh that this one in particular this opening uh see how these are kind of like stitched up kind of dark except this one i guess whatever happened to this stitch kind of like it's uh i guess it wasn't uh, I guess you can say it kind of fell off and fell off part of the cast But uh, they put a tape on it like a tape like this and they put that all on here And they said let it fall off on its own. It'll close up on its own and that's what it did. So it, it did close up on its own But it was actually discharging like clear liquid. I think it's coming from my elbow It was just started to discharge here. It was discharging here throughout the week. It's kind of gross, but but uh you know, it, it, didn't, it didn't smell, it didn't look like pus, it was like clear, like, like liquid, like clear water, pretty much. So, that's, that's pretty much my update for this week. Uh, yeah, uh, taking it out, taking it out with such a, like, a, like, like, just having, like, it's like having fresh air. And then I immediately went home and shower and clean this arm. Like, I just, uh, I just realized that this arm kind of, like, stinks up and... It develops sweat in here uh, when you have the cast on. But so having it free, it makes it easier to clean out. Uh, there was like still, you can still see some of the markers, but they like wrote down where to sign out, where to take it out, the you know, where to do these incision at. They did that here and they did that up here, but that's, that's gone. The ink has uh, dissipated. Um, yeah, uh, and then uh, after that, I, I had to make sure if I was clear to work out because I actually wanted to start working out again. Uh, so I've been going to the gym at least three times a week. I'm going to try to go more, try to go every day. But I've been go I've been basically doing is going on a stationary bike. You're only allowed to do stationary exercise on the lower body. So stationary, I, uh, uh, a stationary bike, I did that for 30 minutes. I basically biked for like six, six and a half miles in 30 minutes. And then... Um, I go do leg press, and then I do uh, leg curls, and that's and then I after that I go to like the their like their classroom or the yoga room where there are a bunch of mirrors, and then stare straight at the mirror, and just just do this, and try to just hold it as much as I can, and just try to, you know, relax and try to push through it, push through the pain, and and, and the whole reason is to push through the pain so you can get the flexibility back to get the momentum back and so you can go on to the next step in the re in the recovery process which i'll find out if i'm ready to do that you know wednesday or if they're gonna tell me hey you're gonna have to do these exercises for another week you know so that's what i'm kind of looking forward to and what i'm waiting for as you can see i did get a haircut um the barber shots did open up uh starting friday and i got a haircut today uh, sunday so yeah it's a fresh cut i did trim the did trim the i had a beard growing and i did trim it down I didn't completely clean it. Realized that I had to charge the batteries on my ra uh, on my razor, so I did a light trim, and then I didn't want it to like be like if I go completely clean and it dies on me and it just looks funny, so I just let it charge for the night and I'll deal with it tomorrow. So, yeah, thanks for guys watching the video. Uh, this is my weekly update, uh, week two. Uh, you know, it's all about the scar. So, thanks for guys for watching the video. Love and always take care.